Nowadays, Unreal Engine is getting so big for cinematics and films, for making creative things, or virtual production, and things such that. But rigging a character for those films was actually a little bit hard, especially for the beginners. And even for the advanced artists, it took a good amount of time for you in order to create a control rig. But now with the introduction of Unreal Engine modular control rigs, you can actually create a control rig for your character so fast in minutes. Right now, I'm in Unreal Engine 5.4. I'm not sure about versions before 5.4, but anything after 5.4, it's gonna be included with a modular control rig. So let's learn how we can rig our character for Unreal Engine in minutes. First of all, make sure that you have this plugin turned on. Control rig, modules. It should be turned on for everyone. I mean, I just created this project and imported my character and it was enabled. But checking that is a safe measure. I've only imported my character and the textures. So I have a character here. In order to create modular control rig, I just right click, animation, control rig, control rig. Here, instead of the old control rig, I select the modular control rig. You can give it a name. Uh, here, first put it to the tiles to see everything better. And in the preview scene tab, in the preview mesh, select your character. Okay, there's a spine socket and if you hover over it, it says drag and drop the spine module here. This is the spine module. Isn't it nice? It just rigged my whole torso. Okay, hover over the shoulder, place the shoulder module. And place the, for the other shoulder. Then here it says place the arm module. Arm module here and the arm module here. Here we should place the neck module. And for the legs, we place the legs module. Left leg, right leg, and here we should place the foot module. Left foot and right foot. Okay, let's go and place the finger modules for our fingers to complete our modular rig. Okay, let's just hit compile and save. Let's test our rig in the scene. I just need to drag my character into the scene and it creates a sequencer for me and I'm already in the animation mode. Let's just test our rig. Isn't it cool? And the legs are already in the IK mode. Look. They are in the IK mode and it preserves my weight painting from Blender. I should tell you that this model is rigged inside Blender. I'm not sure if this modular rig works for the characters that don't have any rig or weight painting, but these days rigging a simple character and weight painting it inside Blender with tools like Rigify that is native to Blender and AutoRig Pro is actually simple. So you can just make a simple rig for your character and not to be worried for its rig inside Unreal Engine. Actually, the transferring models from softwares like Blender to the Unreal Engine is much easier nowadays. Okay, the hands are in the FK. Let's just switch them to the IK. In the sequencer, you just search switch and you see the IK FK switches for the arm, legs, and everything. If I hit the, if I turn on the switches for the arms IK, you can see that we have IK hands right now. It's cool, right? Okay, and the head is working too. Okay, we just created a modular control rig for our character within a minutes. I'm not sure how long this video was, but it was really fast. I just drag and drop the modular rigs. You can create modular rigs for your own because sometimes you have different types of characters. But if you have a character with more legs or arms, that's the same thing. You just place the shoulder and the arms for the extra limbs of your character. 
that's fine. It will integrate it into the same control rig. It didn't recognize my hair. Actually, did it or not? Let's get back to our module control rig to see if it recognized my hair. No, it didn't. But we can actually create a module rig ourselves with a little bit of blueprinting to recognize that. But it's fun and fast and you can create the morphs for the face in order to make a complete animation. But keep in mind, this is for the films and animations. Uh, for the games, you actually need to create the skeleton in the structure that Unreal Engine uses. Because in the blueprints, you still need to add your skeletal mesh, not your control rig. But for animations, cinematics, you don't need to spend a lot of time rigging your character. You just can drag and drop your character here, add a modular rig, and start creating your film or cinematic. Okay, that's it for this video. It was quick, it was simple. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Until the next video, have a great time. Bye-bye.